So guys, uh, the last clutch came out. Um, they're not shed out yet, but I thought I would give you guys an updated video anyways because uh, some of the other stuff shed out. And I just want you to see how some of it is going. So let's start out with the first snake over here. Sorry if the camera's moving all over the place. Only got two hands. So let's take a little look at what we got here. So this right here uh, is looking like it may actually be a world's first. This is the Super Black Pastel Hypo. And uh, this snake may actually have butter in it as well. Uh, we were kind of expecting the snake to end up a little bit darker. Um, we are shooting for an all purple patternless snake. But it actually seems to be more of like a grayish kind of purple. Uh, not as dark as we were expecting. It's kind of lighter, and the reason that may be is because it may actually have butter in it as well. Now, I had initially said that I wasn't sure if the snake would make it, uh, because you guys could see it has that cleft in its lip right there, but um, it is actually able to open its mouth, and as you could see, it is in fact flicking its tongue. It's kind of funny because it actually flicks its tongue through that hole in its face. So, uh, and for those of you that didn't see the other video, typically um, super black pastels, they'll have these problems with their faces, unfortunately. It seems to be a genetic defect um, where they usually end up with duck bills. But as you can see, this snake is uh, just actually missing a piece of its face. But uh, still a nice looking snake nonetheless. Got a little scared there. And there's no other kinks throughout its body, which is very nice. Because sometimes they do have kinks along the uh, vertebrae, but this one, the only imperfection is the face. And uh, this is actually a female. So, And like I said, um, I've been looking online and I cannot seem to find any images or posts about <clears throat> a super black fast cell hypo. So this may be the first of its kind. Um, it could be that the others, if they were born, were so messed up that they weren't able to live. Or maybe people were just too embarrassed to show uh, the babies just because of the genetic defects that they may have been born with. But uh, anyways, pretty cool snake nonetheless. Uh, obviously we won't breed it, but we will keep it and uh, we'll grow her up. There you can see the uh, top view of that cleft lip. So that's one of the cool animals that we hatched out this year. Um, we actually have, I believe this is a female, which we lucked out on because we keep producing males of these guys. But this right here is a butter black pastel orange ghost. Um, if you guys have been following my videos for I guess the last three years, even year, you guys will know that we produce these. Um, we've been lucky enough to produce at least one every year so far. And uh, this time we got a female because last year we actually still have a, a 2014 male, if anybody's interested. And this is a 2015 female. We unfortunately did not get any uh, black pastel ghosts, but we still have 1.1 from last year. Um, so the other stuff that was in that clutch is just two regular orange ghosts and a butter ghost. Uh, we produced probably, I would say over, maybe even over 15 butter ghosts in the, the last couple of years that we've actually been breeding ball pythons, so quite a bit. So you guys have seen enough of those. Um, let me show you our possible Pumas. We're pretty sure that they're both Pumas, at the very least. And you guys can see that uh, this one is quite snappy. Actually, they both are, which is good because generally, the snappier they are when they're babies, the better they're going to be as feeders throughout their lives. Um, I've come to notice this, but obviously, you know, sometimes you just have a very angry snake, 
doesn't necessarily mean they'll, they'll be a great feeder. Actually, not many of these have actually eaten uh, yet. Uh, most of them just went through their first shed last week. So haven't even offered uh, some of these guys food yet. And uh, as always, whenever I offer uh, our ball pythons their first meal, it's always a frozen thawed rat fuzzy unless they hash out particularly small then I'll go with a uh, rat pinky but I always try to get them onto rats right away uh, makes it so that I don't have to um, bust my head later on trying to get them onto um, frozen rats like let's say if I started with live mice or frozen mice it could be a pain later down the road so that's the first one and I believe this is a puma we know that the father was a puma it was a uh, puma bred to a pastel um yellow belly so but you can see there's a lot of orange in this animal uh, i accidentally um mistakenly identified a pastel ivory we hatched out uh either last year or the year before as a puma or as a pastel puma but it was in fact an ivory this one though pretty sure it is the puma you can see it's a lot darker on its sides um, and it has more orange color to it. Now the next one is definitely a puma, I would say. This one is a lot darker. Um, who knows, the other one that I just showed you may be a pastel puma, and this is possibly just a regular puma. And as I said, these guys have an attitude on them. But uh, yeah, you can see the head is just super dark, and uh, the orange is look really nice on this animal as they do on the other one and uh, I don't believe I sex these yet but hopefully we got 1.1 uh, or two females I mean Jesus I'm bad with the hook right now you can see that snake just wants to tear me to pieces and now this and nope that's just a pastel spark here is the absolute gem of our 2015 breeding season. You can see another super friendly snake. But uh, yeah, this thing looks even better since it shed. This is the super chocolate hypo. And uh, it's actually a female. Kind of sucks that it's a female because a male would have been really nice. Uh, we have a couple things we could breed a male to, including our... Um, chocolate butter ghost so that could have been something really awesome to make it would basically make this but with uh, butter on top of it um, but we do actually have a male butter chocolate that's a hundred percent het ghost so um, that's probably what we'll end up breeding to her eventually and uh, I just want to make sure you guys could appreciate her color um, you see the kind of purple that's on her, that's kind of what we were expecting on the uh, super black pastel. But uh, yeah, that one ended up more gray, but the purple on this thing is absolutely crazy. And I love the orange on her. Um, especially the face. I don't know if you guys could tell, but the face is much more purple and orange than the rest of the body. So believe it or not, this is not my favorite snake we produced this year. So angry. I'll actually show you guys just quick because we're getting near the 10 minute mark. The uh, super chocolates that are het ghost. Uh, 1.1 of these if anybody's interested. And then of course these are the key ingredient into making what I had just shown you guys. Uh, so we have 1.1 of them. I believe this one here is the female. But you guys can see they're awesome looking. So dark. Um, show the other one here. Actually, this one may be the better looking one. I guess it depends what you like. The other one I think has a little bit more contrast to it. But this one is also very nice. And then we have a chocolate ghost that's over here. Don't believe I... Uh, I possibly did sex this one in the video earlier but I can't recall if it's a male or a female but that'll also be available 
actually, I think I we have 1.1 on those. Because here's the uh, the other chocolate ghost. This one's actually very nice looking. Um, but now, it's time to show the other clutch that hatched out. And this other clutch actually has my favorite snake that we produced all year. You guys can see it's just a big ball of white, basically. Um, we have a pastel ivory here. That's deep into shed. Pastel ivory. And the snake that I actually really like is the most aggressive one in the clutch. I mean, usually they don't start biting at you until they're first shed. But I'll give you guys a quick look at this little dude here. Um, now you guys may look at this and be like, well, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. It's, it's nothing too special to make, but, um, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of carpet pythons. And one of the big reasons behind that is I really like yellow snakes and this snake will be amazing once it sheds. This right here is also known as the Marvel ball python or the, uh, pastel super stripe. Uh, we tried to make it last year. We missed on it but we hit it this year and I'm super excited for when this thing sheds you could tell the pattern is crazy that broken stripe down the back and uh, what you can tell right now is the kind of side patterns that this thing is gonna have once it sheds but you could see the the big difference between it and the uh, two pastel ivories that we got in the clutch I mean, even they have that broken line down the back, but this obviously here is a super stripe. And these two, I don't believe are, but who knows, man. These white snakes, they, they confuse me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Um, if you have any suggestions on future videos, let me know. I would assume the next video is going to be of this clutch shut out. But uh, take care, guys, and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.